Father, I will bless you. Teach us your word once again in the name of Jesus. And today, the Lord will be teaching us on a topic that says, Sound the Alarm. Sound the Alarm, part 6. Uh, this, the Sound the Alarm series is to open us to spiritual updates. To help us know what God is doing and what the devil is doing. Another strategy I see the devil using is that he's giving dark goggles to people, especially the elderly ones. This is this is a dark shade. This is a dark shade goggle. He's giving it to people who are in position to correct others or reprove them. These people may include ministers, parents, leaders, and so on. The essence of these dark goggles is to close their eyes to the errors and the mistakes of their people. As long as this this goggle is on them, even if people very close to them are doing something bad, they won't see anything bad in it. Even what matters won't matter to them again because they cannot see properly. Have you ever seen some children putting on some skimpy clothes on the street and you begin to wonder if they ever had parents? Of course, this is because their parents' eyes have been shot with these dark demonic goggles. As long as a person is with these goggles, they won't see any, t- any reason to correct what is wrong. Excesses will be called a display of abundance. Certain sinful habits will be referred to as a mere civilization. That's why even some denominations make, make people wonder if they ever know who Christ was. There are certain denominations that they live in error, sin, and lust. That has become part of their doctrine. You may wonder what they preach on Sundays and what they do in their Bible study if they ever have any space for that. When a minister's life opens the door for the devil and this demonic goggle is given to him or her, such person will never love to tell the truth and won't correct whatever wrong they see happening around because their eyes are also covered. That goggle is like a demonic veil. If you have these dark goggles, your physical eyes may be opened, but you will lack discernment. One major thing this goggle does is to take away your ability to discern. Why is the devil coming up with this technology? The reason is that he wants everyone to move far away from the truth. If you are in God, that will take you out of that will take you out of God. And if you are far from God, it will take you f- more far away from God. Beware. I saw this while I was on a prayer walk. Suddenly I looked up on a story building and I saw a dark goggle being distributed. And the Lord brought understanding to me. And through that, I was able to know that the goggle was demonic. And the reason for which the devil is distributing such an item was to shut the eyes of people away from the truth. Watch out in order not to receive this demonic goggle. And if you have it, then pray to God to help you remove it. If you if you can still tell yourself the truth, and if you can still tell others the truth, then it shows that you, you are free from these dark goggles. But if you notice that you no longer tell yourself the truth, and that you don't even think it is necessary to tell others the truth, even when you know they are heading for a destruction, then you have it. May the Lord deliver every one of us, and may we not be a victim of the devil's orchestration in Jesus' name. That someone is physically using goggles may, may be a recommended one or just for fashion doesn't mean they have this goggle. I'm talking about spiritual things. I'm not referring to physical things. The goggle I'm referring to here is not physical. It is spiritual. The only thing is that if you have this goggle spiritually, then it will affect your actions physically. It will affect how we respond to the truth. Your response to the truth will prove whether we, whether you are spiritually healthy 
or not. God be with you in Jesus' name. When the eyes of your parents cannot discern, then they will begin to sell out. When the eyes of parents cannot discern, then they will begin to sell out their children ignorantly. They will expose them to dangers without knowing. The same thing happens when a, a leader cannot discern. Many parents are using their children to market what they sell. The life of their child is not as important as the sale they make. They don't care about what evil befalls their child as long as their market is moving. May the Lord deliver us from spiritual blindness in the name of Jesus.